Hey, what's up everybody? Today, I'm taking you over to Mark's house to learn how to lap your valves. So let's go. Hey Mark, what are we doing today? And we're gonna lap the valves and the cylinder to the head. Uh, it's a pretty simple process. It just requires, you know, spinning some stuff against its, its surface with uh, some valve lapping cream. So we're gonna get to it here. All right, and this is Mark's shop. First step is we've got Mark's head on his bench and he's got this, this special tool here um, that removes the valve springs and everything. So first step is just to take off your rockers. Right, Mark? Right, yeah, you wanna get the, the rocker out of the way. You can't do this with a rocker on there. So keep all your stuff in organizers. I've, I've made one for intake and exhaust uh, for the pairs of cylinders. You do one head at a time, so there's, you know, ones and threes, and then twos and fours, so I can keep track of what I'm doing. I'm also gonna label the, uh, the actual head so that I know uh, when I go to lap the uh, the cylinders in uh i know which cylinder i'm putting on on which uh which uh which spigot so yeah the first thing you know got got that off and i'm ready to try to pop out the valve this is gets kind of interesting sometimes they stick this one is sticky so now so since the valve is stuck uh the keeper is stuck around the cup uh i'm gonna beat it until the 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 cup drops around the valve which I can feel with my hand you won't be able to see it uh, you know, I'm just striking this thing with a hammer there I felt it bounce so I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all of them just cuz uh, we'll be ready that one's moving that one moved that one moved okay so we're past that part now now we can just take them out get the uh, using this tool here it, this is almost impossible without this good uh, valve tool so I put this this magnet in there and it grabs the keepers so there I've got two keepers and the valve is ready to come apart this is a uh, cylinder number two and that is the exhaust so I'm looking for exhaust two there we go So put the keepers in, and when I do it, I want to keep the uh, take note of where the spring is located, so I can put it in the same way. This is the uh, the retaining cup, and uh, that can only go on one way, basically. Um, but this, I want to pay attention to where the spring lines up. It's right there. So that one is at about four o'clock, five o'clock, where the the spring spring the end of the spring is uh just in case there's some kind of groove that's in the head which i'm not feeling one but just to be safe so and i put it in with that side down in the bucket and this bucket is, so, is small enough that it can't fall over so i've got that i'm going to go ahead and close that up while i take the rest of them off and take the valves out when i turn the head over all right so now we're ready to actually take the valves out there's something interesting you're going to see here too with uh oh, an adjustment i had to make to the to the uh, valve compression tool first of all you want to take this off here um, in order to use the lever you've got to bolt this thing down so i have one bolt there that's loosely you know i'm, I'm obviously tightening with my finger but it keeps the whole thing from rocking over when i do the compression and then i had to add these little bricks of uh of wood to get closer to the uh to the actually touching the valve so the so the 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 valve did not compress while i was uh, trying to bust it loose so here we go. You just reach around the back. Oh, look, we got a little little bunny in there. It's a spider egg's nest. All right, according to Mr. Matt, it's a spider egg nest. Yeah, it is. Uh -huh. Is it a round thing? I guess so. So here, there's intake for uh, number one. So I'll go back here. Intake number one. Okay, so here we have a exhaust valve, the smaller one, and the intake valve, the larger one. Um, and when you take them out, you'll notice that the, uh, I have not cleaned these yet. The, the intake here in my left hand is much cleaner all the way down 
uh, and then the exhaust is quite dirty. Uh, that's you know because just gas hits the back of this one uh, gas air mixture and this is actually the exhaust burnt gas and air and the, the additional carbon so we're going to clean this up on a grinder but you can see I don't know if the uh, if, if the reflection of the surface where the the valve seat uh, the, the valve that hits the seat you can see the shiny part there uh, and then you can see this one that's what we're going to be uh, grinding to match the the valve seats so let's take these out to the grinder and Get to it. Comes right up. Uh, you don't want to go to the end of the part that goes into the uh, into the uh, valve guide. So this one's pretty much done on on the on the back side. Now we do the front side. Okay, so the whole point of this is to make sure that the valve and the seat are perfectly matched. So we're basically grinding this surface right here and that surface with this compound. And Mark, do you want to show them this tool you came up with? Yeah, this uh, this is kind of an interesting way to do this. A lot of people say, oh, don't use a drill. I mean, here's here's the original way to do this. You put these two things in your hands. I bought these, and then I, after doing research and knowing that, you know, fi finding the other stuff that I had available, I created this tool, which I've got to unchuck it and take it apart anyway to put the valve in. So just to show you here, this is a, a short piece of, of surgical tubing, and uh, it's very flexible. Uh, and this is just a stud I put in the end that the drill can bite on. This stud could be even a, uh, a piece of a uh, number two pencil. But yeah, and you kind of just work it uh, out of there. Now I gotta put the valve in and uh, then I'll insert that tool on the other end once I get the valve in. Before you put the valve in, you wanna oil the, uh, the valve guide. And uh, yeah, you're gonna make a little bit of a mess here, but uh, it's okay. And then I put a little oil on the uh, actual the valve stem. Um, that way, you know, because this thing's going to be spinning around in there, you definitely don't want to do it dry. Okay, so there you go. Look, it drops right in. See that? Beautiful. So you got to hold on to the valve while you put your homemade tool on there. A little spit helps it slide on, but I got oil on there too, so hopefully it doesn't just fall off while we're using it. All right, so that's ready. Um, now we got to put the valve compound on there. This is a little bit easier to do if you do it prior to dropping the valve in, but just to show you, you can do it the other way too. So I'm grabbing the tool and I'm gonna spin that and just get load that stuff up on there. And I, you just need the rim. It, it, that's all that's getting ground here. Just the rim. And you can kind of tell, you can see a little pile of it sitting up there. And there, it's ready to go. All right, so now we're just gonna flip it over and attach the drill. All right, here we go. Going forward. All right, so give that one little snug and you let it spin. Now, it's a benefit to have a quiet drill because you can hear the valve grinding there. Okay, and you wanna go both directions. You don't have to go fast. You don't want to go fast, but you will hear the pitch of the grind change. If you can, it's a little easier to hear when you if when you're in person and you don't have the drill noise along with it. That's one of the the deficits of using a uh, drill instead of using the the lapping uh, sticks. But and you hit it and you kind of bounce it in and out a little bit too to. Reseed all the goo in there to let it do its work. Usually it stays down, but we're going to flip this over and show you what's going on here with the. Uh, so you can see it's rotating and grinding. Hear you quiet? Yeah, it's much quieter. So 
So hopefully we can pull this guy right out. Yep. Okay, and then you can see there's the eaten up valve goo that looks really shiny and creamy. Uh, it's done its job. It's it's you know it's it's, it's broken down. And here you can see it kind of spooged around there. Uh. Yep. So, so it's all it's all basically uh, grinded to be two two paired surfaces. Right, and you you want to do each one to its uh, you know to its mate. You don't you know you don't cross where you're going. Uh, and you can see the surface there is a nice gray surface. That's what you're expecting. Is that that gray surface is the part that ground? You, you'd think that the whole thing met, meets up, but it doesn't. Just the part that you can see there that got ground. So yeah, and then clean up the hole that it went in. Always pulling outward, so that because you can clean up the cylinder at any time. You can't clean up inside the intake port once you get the valves installed. All right, so that's it for the valves. He's got, he's taken them off with this special tool. We clean them up and then we ground them with his other special, uh, specially made drill attachment. Now we are going to mate the surface of the head and the cylinder right here. Right, and that's a, that's a manual process, no drill involved. <laughs> All right, so here we have uh, the number one uh, cylinder, and I'm gonna put it into the number one uh, head uh, spigot and spin it around with the same. Yeah, so I'm just loading this up with the, the goo around the rim. So here we have the, the cylinder sitting in the, in the, uh, the spigot, and uh, the flat side is here where it, where it will end up uh, once installed. And uh, just take it and swiggle it back and forth. Now, it's not required to go around full circle because the, the cylinder will be sitting in one spot. And you're just trying to mate up that one spot where it's gonna match. I hear you can hear the grinding noise. You put a little pressure on it and Of course, lift up a little bit to get the stuff to suck back in there. All right, so here we are finished with it. Just, a, you know, a couple minutes of wiggling it back and forth. And uh, I believe it's cut to what it needs to be. The the pitch of the grind has uh, has softened, so uh, we know that the uh, the grit of the material has broken down and it's done its work. So, pulling it out, okay. Here you'll see a difference in once I clean this up. There's the gray goo on it, nice and pretty. There you go. And it's important to get all this stuff off of there so that it doesn't uh, uh, doesn't grind anything else while you assemble once your engine's assembled. But uh, there'll be more cleaning up of this before this motor goes together. All right, and that concludes lapping your valves and your cylinder head to the uh, the jug. All right, and there you go. It's all cleaned up. Hey, if you like what you see, uh, leave a comment and uh, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, VW Life, man. Thanks, Mark. Later, guys.